I am from Bangladesh and I am representing a trade union organization. Its name is National Garment Workers Federation that working for the garment workers in Bangladesh from uh, since 1984. And uh, this sector is the biggest industry, industrial sector in Bangladesh. Now there are 3 million workers on which 85% are women. They are working in 4,000, uh, 4,800 factories and total production it is actually uh, export in USA, EU and Canada. Decent work, this is very important issue for the government workers of Bangladesh as like as the other government workers in other countries, especially in South, because most of the government workers, they are working in uh, very low ways, they are working long working hours. They actually do not have the right to organize and right to bargain. And they do not have any social security. Many of the cases, the union workers, they are not getting the maternity benefit and maternity leave. And many of the cases, the workers, they do not have the uh, proper housing facilities or, or transportation facilities. So uh, actually this type of work, this is not the decent work. Decent work, obviously, um, against of the work, against of the work, the workers will get the living wage or decent wage, decent work on working condition, and other benefit and better life. So, of course, we will be happy if the decent work um, uh, established in. Uh, all over the world, not only in the Europe, even in uh, South, we will be happy. But remember it that decent work, decent ways for the workers, it is also related to the decent price of our production. Because with the government workers, we are producing for the multinational companies. And if this multinational company, they do not provide the decent price or this at least fair price of our production then the decent ways is actually not possible so that is the reason we want to mention that decent work decent ways as well as decent price of our production International solidarity, nowadays this is very important issue for the trade union organization as well as for the workers all over the world. But international solidarity, it does not mean that. The solidarity, it will only comes from the north towards the south. It does not mean that the trade union organization or the people from the north, they will support or they will financially support the trade union organization or workers in only in the south international solidarity it actually work uh, bilaterally it should comes from the north it should also comes from the south this is the practical situation that the trade union organization and workers in south they do not have sufficient financial capacity to provide financial support for the northern workers or northern trade union organization but with the trade union organization of south we can also provide our strength our capacity in support of the trade union and workers those are working in north like you see with the garment workers we are producing the clothes for the consumers in europe and many of the workers and many of the people they are selling our product to the consumers so we are in the same uh, same chain we are working for under the same multinational companies so if the people those are selling our product to the consumers in europe if they face any problem we can also organize some kind of solidarity work or some kind of protest some kind of demonstration in support of their demands and the people those are working here they can also do a lot of things in support of our struggle
I think solidarity actually means it should comes from the both of the side. Thank you. Thank you.